What's it, Brian? So I've had a lot of questions about the gear and equipment that I take along my trip. So I thought I'd go through some of those things today and kind of let you see what I what I take, what I use, what I like, what I don't like, that kind of stuff. Um, got a sleeping bag. It's, uh, it's rated at 10, negative 10 degrees Celsius, which I think is around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So it, uh, it stays pretty warm. And then uh, this is a self-inflating sleeping mat this thing is awesome um man i've slept on some pretty rocky ground and couldn't tell at all so towel never go anywhere without your towel um two-man tent i decided to go with the two-man because of the the gear that i want to keep in the tent with me at nighttime cooking stuff all that i didn't think i would have enough room in a in a single man uh, i've got my Eagle Nest Outfitters Hammock. This thing is badass. Um, I use a lot. I, I dig it. And then got a first aid kit with all the essentials in it. You know, bandages, all that kind of stuff. Some toiletries. I carry, you know, soap, razor, all that kind of stuff too. And then I've got Frog Togs uh, rain gear. It's kind of big. I look like a Puff, stay puff marshmallow man or something but uh, it works um, this is like some random fire starting stuff some waterproof matches and uh, flint and steel little emergency camp stove I don't really use it much but I figure at some point I probably will um, I did get this little sewing kit to take with me I'm glad I did I had to sew up my backpack it started ripping on me um, got a solar panel, so it folds out. Um, works pretty good. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is when you go into some shade or like a big truck passages passes you, then uh, it cuts it off. So you have to replug it in and and uh, go again. So it's kind of a pain. But uh, random uh, charging cords. It's a battery pack that I use. Um, it's kind of cool because it's the same batteries that I that my vaporizer uses. So kind of dual purpose. Clothes, is jeans, t-shirts, shorts, socks, underwear, more shirts. Um, I try not to carry a lot, but um, enough to, to you know get me through a few days if I need it. Uh, a little Farkle dice game. This thing is awesome. I love to play this with people I meet. Um, a little camp light that uh, you can attach to the bill of your, your uh, hat if you wear a hat. It's uh, totally rechargeable. Man, this thing is awesome. It's been sitting for a few weeks and it's still going good. So then I've got uh, GoPro accessories, tripod, um, batteries, all that kind of stuff. This is a little mount that I got for my phone so I can start using my phone and my GoPro at the same time um, life straw I haven't got to use this yet either but I figure at some point I'll probably need it once I get out west um, some good friends of mine from Springfield gave that to me so and then uh, I've got my cooking equipment and this thing is freaking awesome it's super tiny it goes in a little plastic case that fits in your hand my cookware, all this stuff totally fits together compact in this little case. Um, food, you know, soups and oatmeal, freeze dried foods. Um, they don't taste that great, uh, but they work. I got this little multi spice thing that's really awesome. It kind of helps with uh, the bland flavors of all the, the freeze dried food stuff goes in my panniers or saddlebags whatever you want to call them um, I do put like the solar panel and the GoPro stuff and water that kind of things in my backpack so it's easily accessible so I also have a toolbox um, rack bag whatever you want to call it I keep uh, keep a road map a paper one just in case you know waterproof uh, compass a light for camping in the tent. This is just a coil building kit for my vaporizer. 
Um, had a good buddy uh, of mine in Springfield, Rain, give me this. Uh, it's an awesome little spear. You can put a uh, like a broom handle or anything on it. Um, I'd like to spear something with that sometime. That'd be awesome. A uh, buddy of mine, Eddie, gave me this uh, fishing pole. I guess he uh, he broke it and just sawed it off and put the tip back in it, which makes for an awesome little short fishing pole. Um, little tackle box. Got a cool little hatchet. Uh, I think I bought this at like Bass Pro or something. Um, chop up some firewood. Uh, some extra batteries. Scissors. Some rope. Some chain lube. Uh, hose clamp. Some extra reflective tape in case some of mine falls off. I had to get some hot hands, man. When I first started off in Missouri, it was freezing. Uh, so I'm glad I had those. Extra quart of oil. Uh, I've got uh, a few extra parts like uh, this is a voltage regulator, um, some spark plugs, random nuts and bolts. Some extra tubes, all the tools that I need for the bike. I went through the whole bike and, and uh, checked every single nut and bolt and everything to, to make sure I'd have the tools uh, along the way that I would need. Um, and that's pretty much it right there. I got a few extra exhaust gaskets. I noticed the one that I, the original one, had started burning up, so I decided to get some new ones. Uh, some duct tape, gotta have duct tape. Electrical tape, some uh, wire zip ties, and some uh, some Velcro. You never know when you might need some Velcro. But uh, that's pretty much everything that I carry on the bike. I mean, I got some random stuff like the gear that I wear, but uh, that's pretty much it. This is how I get across the country on a motorized bicycle. Say, say. I've never cried all my life till I met you, girl. It's simple, oh, you're really cruel. You never see me when I want you to. You got me gone, I got you too.